Most people in America are familiar with clippings. I mean, you're all journalists, right? You're all trained professional writers. You've all went to universities that are top ten that taught you how to do things, right? You are clearly familiar with W131 of a university, which typically is the standard number of a course on writing. But if you're actually a trained journalist, you have a different way of life. Journalists travel all over the nation. They cover all sorts of stories. Some of them, and some of us, travel around the world to do that coverage. Some of us are in the White House press corps. Some of us are working <coughs> for the local store. Some of us are producing our own newscasts. Some of us are doing this for advertiser money. Some of us are doing this for clients who paid us to cover a topic. Here's the problem with clippings today in today's technologically advanced world that we are responsible for creating audio casts, which is a term that I have coined for the marketing world, or podcasts, which is another term that people do utilize to market their business or their skill sets. And many of us create videos on social media channels that allow us. And all the social media channels have pay-to-play type of capabilities and the free spaces in which we're allowed to chat with many people around the globe. The problem with the word clipping today is that some people who work for your employee company are clipping other people's videos. You see, you're offering free Wi-Fi that says, we do possibly monitor, but at the same time, you never say, and you never do, underneath employee rules, manage or manipulate someone's channels. You see, there are people of all walks of life that will use your free Wi-Fi for a lot of reasons in your store. Maybe to make a phone call, maybe to pick up a text message, maybe to provide information to their company all around them working or eating or serving or shopping or buying things in your store. But the bottom line is you may have ill-willed employees that are jealous of that freedom of being out in the world when they are working. And in that case, those employees with technological skill sets may start to do what we call clipping, which is an illegal form of hacking in which they are using your Wi-Fi network with their own cell phones or your company computers to access someone who is on your network. In the case of a coffee house, a, a company employee or manager might use the network to look into someone's computer hard drive. In the case of some sort of office supply store, such as Home Depot, you might have an employee illegally and immorally hacking someone's computer when they're going there to get service meaning they decide to take that computer that is there for repair, like at a Best Buy, and remove things for their own financial gain and benefit. That, of course, is illegal, and that is a form of espionage, because company computers carry all kinds of proprietary and confidential and copywritten material. 